Hi, it's Danny and I'm in Belize and uh, right now we're at the grade school but we're on our way to the Ocean Academy in a minute and uh, we're gonna meet the kids. So here we go. Ocean Academy is that way. There it is. Okay, we just got here and uh, this is the school and the kids are here and uh, wow, this is insane. I, I, wow, this is overwhelming. And this is Scotty, my friend Scotty and he uh, does the, uh, the awesome guitar program with the kids and uh, I think we're gonna get underway here with them. Perfect day. <laughs> so it's a big celebration. Manuel Heredia, and he's the area representative for this part of Belize, and he was very instrumental in getting this whole thing going. This is Danny. Because they didn't have the means to go to the city or to some table to attend. So it is a great, great I guess the water tax is expensive, right? To travel and it, by the end of the yeah. water tax is like that, they have to buy, be eating by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Additional expense, you know. And, and it has come a long way. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It, it indeed a pleasure. I'm also the Minister of Tourism okay. and Culture and Civil Aviation. Well, I feel a bit like the Minister of Tourism too. I always tell everyone to come here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Mr. Reddy, have you gotten a proper introduction to know how important uh, Danny Michelle is to us? Yes, they, yeah. they, they say that he has, he is being very generous. And, more than and, that. And, he, and we, need, uh, we need more people like him. Yes. He, but the interesting part about tourism is that he has been able to drum up support from his fan base. He's a musician in Canada. So this all this money is coming from his fans. And so he's not kidding when he writes music about Belize. So he's singing songs that have to do with Pete Cocker and have to do with Belize. And Canadians are listening to it all over the place and literally, you know, making them want to come down to Belize. So excited to have both of you here today. I think something's starting. One, two, three. Oh, land of the free by the Caribbean Sea, our mind to be pledged to the liberty. No tyrants here linger, this was must be this child. With the pain of democracy, the blood of the savage hallows the sun, the freedom from slavery. special day for us here at the Ocean Academy. We are privileged to have here with us an international recognized artist and generous patron of Ocean Academy. Please let's give him a round of applause. As the Chinese Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu says, Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. In this world, giving is not always easy. We, are be we have been programmed to expect and seldom to give in return. However, this gentleman here visiting us is a living example of love. We must do our part to ensure that this chain of love continues on. If you haven't had a chance to listen to his music, you should. For us who like folk music, and his music fits in right there. In Feather for Finn, Danny tell us, I went to an island down Caribbean way, and I lay there in the sand all day. I turned on the radio and heard the DJ say, button down the hatches down Santa Elena way. 
I swam the ocean reef, but the coral isle was great. These are very nice words, guys. Very poetic. Mr. Mitchell, you made us famous. On behalf of this whole student body, the administration, the staff, of, uh, the staff here at Ocean Academy, I welcome, I welcome you to this beautiful island, home of Ocean Academy. We are honored to have you here with us. I would like to welcome you to the podium. Please, guys, let's give him a round of applause. to say something? I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, it's great to be here, to be standing here, and because I, uh, like I recognize you guys all from uh, from seeing your pictures on the, on, the, on your website and stuff, and I, I've i come to Key Cocker for a long time. I came a long time ago on a vacation, and I loved it so much. I thought it was so beautiful. And I've done it so much that I always feel like I, I take so much great things from the community and I have so much fun, but I don't want to feel like a tourist so much, so I thought it's time for me to, to give something back. So um, when the school asked me if I would help, I said I would love to help, and, I, and uh, we had a small idea, and, and I tried to make the idea bigger, and uh, it's, uh, that's really all. So I'm glad I could help, and, uh, and thanks to all the fans of my music who have been donating. Uh, everyone loves learning about you guys, and you guys are an inspiration, and uh, thank you. My heart is full of pride today. This is a very special day. We have um, some, some important um, people here. I was enjoying, before we began, introducing um, Danny Michelle and Minister Heredia and talking about tourism, just the link here about his songs um, encouraging Canadians to come down here to Belize. Um, so Ocean Academy brings uh, important people together, but really what I want to say is how this is all about you, the students, that you're the reason that each of these people are here, right? It's you that brings um, Chairman Villanueva here because you are setting good examples. You are creating a presence in this community where the younger children are looking up to you, right? The adults are looking and saying, wow, the visitors come and see you stand in eyes and say good morning and good afternoon, and they, they, they're shocked with pride and happiness. Visitors are reading your, your letters, uh, or outsiders are reading your letters and reading your poems. Um, we have uh, visitors who came to see your business project recently, and the point is is that you're impressing people. You're impressing people in our community. You're impressing people across Belize, which is why we have uh, Minister Aradia here. That's why we have continued support. So even though we had a, a few people get together several years ago to start this school, it's every one of you here that is making it grow strong. So I want to give a big round of applause to the students. Thank you for being here with us today. Good afternoon to everyone. Mr. Chairman, Deputy Chair Lady, Councillor Sosa, founders of Ocean Academy, Principal Ms. Marin, teachers, students, and in particular, one of the things that Danny and I talked about is we have our Christmas show coming up. What date? 10th. Yeah. <laughs> and Danny has, he's here, he's going to be working, but he's also doing his brand new album. So he'll be doing some recording over in Benke. But one of the things is I asked if he could volunteer with a songwriting workshop. For those of you who are really into poetry and into music, Danny said he would come and do a few hours of, uh, with Mr. Scotty. Uh, and guitar class and show you how to do songwriting. He's also going to help you, those of you who are performing in the talent show, he's excited to help with that. Whatever you guys want. So we're, we're so glad to welcome you here as a volunteer, as a donor, as our friend. I can clean too. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> On behalf oh my gosh. Of first part, we present you with this card. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
have been becoming stronger to increase the population and standard of, her, of the students. You have been very helpful and supporting with scholarships. Face you see wants an education, wants to become someone, wants to live their dreams. All the face you see sits before you with thankfulness within our hearts for what you are doing for us. Every face you see will contain your face within our memories and engrave in our hearts in remembrance of your big help. Thank you. Raised for you guys by other people. So this money is not for me. All I did was tell people about you, and everybody uh, wanted to help. Are you okay? <laughs>